What's up everyone? Top of the morning to you here on YouTube. It's been another month and I've made some alterations to my program and experimented a bit with some exercises. I'm happy to say though that pretty much everything has improved quite a bit. Diet wise I mean a lot of carbs these days, mostly from potatoes and keeping fat pretty low. I eat around 5 times a day on average but I'm not super strict or anything. I changed my YouTube name because I no longer eat a ketogenic diet or just do bodyweight training, so the name Keto Calisthenics doesn't make sense anymore. I also installed a new pull up bar outside for muscle ups which you'll see now. Lastly I am training every 48 hours now, with cardio and rest days. I'm still using the Kino Body guidelines though from the Bodyweight Mastery Hybrid program. I was looking for ways to make my one arm push ups harder and got an idea from Al Cavadlo's book Pushing the Limits to do negatives. So my first set is negatives and then the others are assisted. I'm going way too fast on the negatives here since I wasn't really prepared for it and I'm also a bit weak but I'll aim to make the negatives closer to 10 seconds the next month. It's essentially reverse pyramid training using my body weight. If it works for me then you'll all see with your own eyes exactly how to learn a one arm push up without the trial and error I've had to go through. That's what this channel is really about, it's why I make these videos. I want to show everyone what a reasonable rate of progression is in fitness with documented proof showing it all. I don't think anyone else has ever really done what I'm doing here, mostly because they don't want to show you them failing all the time like I do here. But don't worry, look at me failing, have a laugh and learn from me. I'll get there eventually, so I'm happy. I also really lock up my assisting arm on the basketball now, so it's difficult for me to make them much harder. Negatives will really help me the next month to take it to the next level. For some reason, negative work works really well with calisthenics. Probably because the neurological component of it all. I experimented with chest dips the last month by widening my grip, flaring the elbows, leaning forward and hanging away from around my neck. In my opinion, after a few weeks of this, it isn't worth it. Just stick to tricep dips. They are way easier to overload and a lot safer on the shoulders. Chest dips hyperextend the shoulders too much and don't do much more for the chest than tricep dips, in my opinion. So I lost a few weeks progress by doing this, which sucks. But it's all valuable experience for me. You might find chest dips useful, but I see no major advantage of them. Triceps are much more functional muscle anyway. They have great carrier open to push-ups and handstand push-ups. So I'll start with 20 kilograms and overload it from there next time. Hopefully I'll bust through my old plateau of 30 kilograms. Pistol squats are now so easy for me that I've started using weights which you won't see here. I was supposed to make a tutorial for pistol squats this month, so my apologies for not getting around to that. I had some interviews for PhDs and was occupied with Netflix on the side. But I have the script written for it, so I'm going to do it this week. It should be up in around 7 days. I want to make it extensive enough so that even your 90 year old grandma can use it to learn a pistol squat. I'm excited to make it, so stay tuned and subscribe if you don't want to miss it. Lastly, I'm finally making some more headway and muscle ups thanks to my new bar outside. I can use some blocks to help me explode over the top, as well as practicing negatives. This month though, I've been learning the false grip also. I kind of want to learn the slow muscle up honestly. The kipping version doesn't appeal to me as much. FYI, the false grip on bars takes a lot of getting used to. It kills your wrist at first, but I'm getting used to it. It's amazing how much of a balancing act muscle ups are. So much coordination is needed between the legs, abs, wrists and upper body as you lean over. Negatives are crucial in my opinion to get used to it all. If you do enough negatives and you've got the requisite strength like you say you have, it's only a matter of time before you get a full muscle up. By the way, I'm not using a false grip in these clips as I'm only able to hang with it for 15 seconds currently. When I get to 60, I'll start doing pull ups with it. To make up for the fact I stopped doing chest dips, I also added in some flies. This will satisfy the inner buff dude in me. Progressively overloading dips combined with these should build up my chest just fine. There's no pushing exercise in the world which isolates the chest. It's always a secondary muscle to the triceps and shoulder. So you really have to do some squeezing in order to stick to failure. I'm using 50 kilograms aside for now. I started light in order to see how I could react to them. No need to push too hard the first week. Chin ups are going awesome. I changed to the underhand grip which is harder than the neutral grip I was used to before. I can also use a full range of motion with my new bar. And lastly, I'm getting more reps now as well with the same weight, so overall it's improved tremendously. I used to get 4 reps barely with 22.5 kilos, but now I'm just getting about 5 with 25 kilos. 
and as I said, using a bigger range of motion and a harder grip. My goal is to get to 30 kilos for 5 reps. Then, I'll have a wonder at max of 50% of my body weight and I'll be able to finally start properly doing one arm pull up work. Pike push ups are also improving each workout. You can see the tape on the floor where I marked the position of the handles. The reason is that even one inch can make the exercise 100% harder. The aim is to get my body as vertical to the ground as possible and get six good reps. Then I should be able to do headstand push ups at the wall before moving on to full handstand push ups at the wall. Then I'll finally be a master of my own body weight in overhead pressing. I weigh around 87 kilos and I'm 6 foot 2, so it's a real challenge for me to accomplish this. Again, I like to use reverse pyramid training for this exercise. Right now, the weight I'm working against is around 70 kilos, which I checked with a weighing scale, but like I said, the angle makes a huge difference, so I doubt I could do an overhead press with 70 kilos. I know this is anecdotal because I have not been measuring it properly, but I really honestly feel like I am getting more height in my jumps lately, so that's going well. Front lever pulls are still quite hard. I'm working on generating more momentum so that I can help me, you know, so that it can help me accomplish the movement and then I can start doing it slowly and controlled after. It requires a lot of last strength, so progression here could take a lot longer than normal hanging ab work, like the hanging leg raise. Nevertheless, it is a great ab exercise and I like working on it. When I finally get it right, I'll go on to practicing front lever isometrics, which are a million times harder and several years of work, I'm told. Finally, I added in some horizontal rowing to keep my shoulders balanced and healthy, which I think is generally missing from Kino Body programs. I have no video of that though. Finally, not enough has changed my mobility work to really bother showing you that this month. The last thing I want to say is in regards to diet. I've noticed more progress in the last few months. I mean, I put on five pounds of muscle in the last two months, according to my measurements, since I stopped bothering to count calories. I still make sure I eat the correct amount of protein, but everything else I just eyeball. This has worked so well, honestly, that I never want to go back to calorie counting. Too many people starve themselves to look ripped, and when they finally get lean, they don't look good. And then they binge their way back fatter than they were before. I know because I've been there. If you ask a normal person on the street, how do you get in good shape, they'll say, uh, I don't know, uh, you eat healthy and exercise? They would never say, uh, exercise more than you've ever done in your life, and if you're still really hungry after hitting your macros, don't have a second serving of kale or you'll just get fat and out of shape and never get anywhere. There's a lot of wisdom in common sense. I can't believe it's taken me two years of exercising to realize this. Well, it's not for everyone, you know, there's more than one road to Mecca, but this is working for me. If you liked this video, please hit like and subscribe for the Pistol Squad tutorial next week, and have a good one!